and welcome back to Millie Cockapoo. Today's video is going to be on my best dog related purchases. If you haven't already seen it, then I have done a video on the things that I regret buying. So I will tag that above and link it down below. Some of these items I will probably have already mentioned in previous videos as well, but some of them are also new. So first up is an item that I've definitely recommended before, and they are grooming wipes. When I first got Millie, I got the big pack, and now I've bought these smaller travel size ones. These are really handy for when your dog needs a quick freshen up, so if the paws are really muddy after a walk, um, if they've stood in something, if you need to wipe the bum, which is something that not many dog owners talk about, but when your dog gets diarrhea, especially with a long haired dog, you need to wipe their bum because it'll get all stuck in the fur and it'll go down the legs and you, nobody wants that in the house. So it's more convenient, I find, to use a wipe to clean them up than it is to have like, to actually wash the bum, if that makes sense. But sometimes you actually do need to wash a bum. Yeah, I've got on a bit of tangent there, but yeah. Wipes, definitely a great purchase. Along the grooming lines, I also recommend getting a spray and shampoo. This comes in handy for in-between baths. Let's face it, we all try and avoid having to bath our dogs at all costs, and it's better for them to go longer between baths as well, but they do start to get a bit stinky, so this freshens them up in between baths. Next is also a grooming item and it's this comb. I've tried multiple different combs, brushes, you name it, on Millie. But this one is the best for getting out mats. With her being a long haired dog, she is prone to matting. And especially if she's been wearing any coats or jumpers. And when a fur is ready for a cut is when I notice the matting more. But I find that this end is really good for teasing out the not and then this gets the the really fine ones out so yeah this is the best comb we've got and we use it pretty much every day now in relation to bath time i highly recommend getting a bath mat if you don't already have one i didn't have one when millie first came home and she slid everywhere in the bath and i think that was one of the reasons why she didn't like it but then since getting this she doesn't slide anywhere and she actually enjoys having a bath and I think you could use this as well, even if you're showering them. So you definitely get some sort of anti-slip mat for your dog. Next is an item that I have recommended before, and it is a dog dressing gown. So this is a microfiber towel that you put over the head, and then you tie it around them. I love this for after Millie's had a bath, and she's been towel dry, but she's still a bit damp. I put this on her and it soaks up the rest of the water and it keeps her warm as well. And it's also great for if you've been out on either a rainy walk or a walk where you know that they're gonna get wet so if they love swimming. After you've given them a quick dry, you can then put this on for in the car so they're not getting the whole car wet and again, it's keeping them warm. We've used this multiple times and I love it and I think I'm gonna get Millie another one. Ours is from the brand Toby and Alexander. Next, in the winter months, if you've either got a long haired dog that you're trying to avoid getting really muddy and having to bath them after every wash, or a dog that feels a cold really quickly, I recommend getting an Equa Fleece. So this is like a bodysuit and it looks like she's wearing a pair of long johns. It covers her neck, most of her legs, a under belly, and back leg. So the only parts of her when she's wearing this that get wet are a tail, a bum, her actual feet and a head, but the rest of the body stays completely dry. So unlike a lot of other coats where it just covers the back, this keeps, I'd say 80% of the dog dry. When you've got a long haired dog, it's something that you desperately look for because you don't want to be having to bath them and dry them after every single walk in the winter. So I highly recommend investing in an Equa fleece. They come in all different colours. They are worth every single penny. The next item is something that Millie used a lot when she was teething and she still loves them now. But when they're a young puppy and they're teething and they just want to chew everything, I found it hard to find safe bones for them to chew on that were gonna be long lasting. But these ones from the Regal Mutt are great. 
one of these lasted Millie six months. So they're long lasting, they're safe for puppies, and by giving her these, it definitely prevented her from chewing other stuff. The next thing you can get in multiple different styles, but I love this one because it saves water, and it's this water bottle for when you're on the go. So you fill up the bottom with water, and then this is, acts as a bowl for them. Press the button and water comes out and fills up the bowl. And if they don't use it, you can turn it back up and press the button and put it, the water back in. So it means you're not wasting any water. And also you're not having to carry multiple different items. You're not having to carry the foldable bowls and the water bottle for your dog. It's all in one, one container. If you follow us over on Instagram and if you watched our first video on Millie's grooming experience, then you'll know that she has a tendency to slip out of both her collar and her harness. Both of them fit her properly. It's just when she gets extremely scared, she will pull out of it. I don't have a clue how because I struggle to even get my hand in the gap. And you meant to have like a two finger gap on them all. But if your dog is also an escape artist, then I recommend getting one of these attachments. So you put on them both a collar and a harness, and then you clip this end onto the collar tag, and then when you clip the lead onto the harness, you also clip this attachment in. By having one of these, it means that if your dog pulls out of either the harness or the collar, it gives you a couple more seconds to grab hold of them before they slip out of the other one. So it's an added safety measure really to make sure your dog's secure. I got mine from Twiggy Tags along with the matching collar and lead. Just so that the set was all matching. And I've tried other styles where there's clips on both ends. So you clip it to the collar and then the harness and then you clip your lead to the harness like you would normally but I find that it doesn't really give me the added piece of mind as much as what this does because with this way I know that if the lead comes unclipped from the harness at least I'm still I've got like an extra security to the collar whereas if it was the lead that came unclipped on the other style your dog's gone then you've got no way of catching them so I, I personally prefer this style. And my final best purchase is a camera. I used this when Millie was really little and when she was sleeping downstairs to keep an eye on her at night because the night vision is amazing on it. Now I use it more to keep an eye on her when she's home alone, just to make sure that she's safe and see what she's up to, to be honest with you. You can put in a memory card to store the footage or you can pair it to the cloud to, for the so footage to go. I personally just use the app and watch it live and have the notifications turned on for when there's any motion. But it's great for just giving you that added piece of security that your dog is safe. This one does everything you need it to. You can talk through it as well. Has great night vision. And it's a lot cheaper than the, the dog cameras that you can get. I don't think you gain that much from having the ones that can chuck treats out of them. I know with Millie, She'd probably just bark at it all day until she got more treats. Yeah, definitely recommend this if you're looking for a camera. I will link everything that I mentioned in this video down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it. If you don't already, then subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post a new video, which is every Sunday. If you don't already, then follow us over on Instagram at Millie Cockapoo. And we will see you next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.